Hi guys, welcome back to the Bam Family. Today we're going to show you three properties around about the same price range but three very different types. We're heading to an acreage property, an established property in a residential area and to a new build. And we're going to also answer your questions about buying houses in Queensland. So the first one that we're at is this acreage property. It's in Yandina Creek on the Sunshine Coast. Let's go and look around this acreage property. Follow us. <laughs> About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. This is a four bedroom home <laughs> and we're on 5.63 acres, which is huge. And it work out to be 2.2 hectares or something? Yeah, something like that. So it's a and when you say hectares, it sounds even bigger. Yeah, it's a really big property. It, the actual house itself isn't massive. However, there's potential to build um, another property, there's potential to put uh, cabins on the land and there's also potential to renovate this one and even make it bigger. So getting an acreage, you've got so many opportunities and one of the best things about this property is that it comes with two massive sheds. sheds. And when we say sheds, um, they're not garden sheds. They're more like warehouses. They are both, I think, six meters by 12 meters each so they're really big and so that is one of the wonderful things about getting an acreage property is that you've got so much more space and you could even run a business out of your home it's a different kind of living you might have to go out a little bit further from the towns but we're about 10-15 minutes away from the beach at the moment so we're not that far inland the suburb that we're in is Yandina Crepe right now and this is an incredible property, so whoever gets this, they're going to be really lucky. Other thing that we love about this property is, sorry, I've just chucked all my stuff on the floor, but it's got this massive deck. So it's got a great entertaining space and it actually overlooks the dam, which is just there, and all of these, the rest of the land and these fields, it's just beautiful. This is Nigel and this is Jesse. They're from Universal Properties in Noosa and they have very kindly let us come and look at this acreage property that they've got on their books. What's it going for? Uh, it's going for about, depends. We've got a range between low nines to high nines. Maybe, maybe it might sneak into the million mark. It's getting a lot of attention, this one. There's been yes. a lot of viewers, hasn't there? 12 minutes from the beach and you are practically on almost six acres. Yeah. There's about five people just banking up for the open that's about to happen in 10 minutes. Yes. Everybody's 20 minutes early. And we snuck in. <laughs> down the right way down there. there, there's a demand. All you UKians, get down here. <laughs> Thank but you. We think that this property here at Yandina Creek is incredible. There is so many opportunities. The thought of seeing kangaroos on your front lawn in the morning. While it's up the tree. Being able to work from home, being able to, like in one of those sheds if you had a big business. And be self-sufficient as well, growing your own fruit and vegetables yeah. as well. Yeah, and the fact that you can just keep a tractor on your front lawn and it's just normal. Well, that and having a beer keg as your letterbox, which is always handy. That is incredible actually. We're in Budrim and this property is currently on the market for $850,000. I was about to say pounds then, dollars. <laughs> and we're just going to show you around it and show you what you can get for $850,000 here on the Sunshine Coast. you want to please don't be 
people like this I like your before we go into the house I just want to show you this bit of deck around the side so I've just walked past the front door and we've got this massive deck area that you could put a dining table on that's a nice that. morning breakfast or so yeah you know, heavy morning tea and it's quite a nice view although you've got a house over there you've still got a lot of trees you've got a three-tiered garden that you could put a pool in which is pretty lovely you've also got some more room on the side where if you wanted to put more of an extension to have a bigger man's cave downstairs now we're going to head inside i'm quite excited about this one so it's just been newly renovated and it's looking beautiful so this is the main living area so you've got a bifold door that goes out to that deck area we just showed you so you can have all your dining out there this was actually an older style property it got bought about a year ago in not the finest of condition and the people that have bought it have renovated it to such a high standard they've left so many beautiful features in so for example even little things like that window up there got this stunning brickwork going alongside it as well i guess you've got all the new builds which have a certain look to them and you know you know what you're going to get everything's quite standard but they're then always as quirky though are they no the older properties like this are the ones that give you a lot more character this is the bit we're really excited about because this is ben's dream which is to get countertops just like this well, yeah there is a pantry just around the corner here so it's got a really good sized pantry it's kind of a must in the houses here isn't it i think it really must have a pantry uh, some of them just have a cupboard, so everything's quite new and fresh. This is a four bed. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so we'll head into one of the bedrooms first. There's no furniture in there because the people aren't living in here at the moment. I think they've renovated. I love this brick. That's the original wall. Looks quite industrial sort of wall, doesn't it? Yeah. There's a few of them scattered around. So. It's kind of like a homely industrial, isn't it? So we're on bedroom number two. Everything's just so clean. So we've got the family bathroom. Again, it's just so nice when everything's new, isn't it? I can take my sunnies off now, I'm inside. Well, it's like really bright right. outside today. Whoever designed this um, reverb, they've got some real style. I love all this, um, so I'm obsessed with panelling on the walls at the moment. It just looks so nice. Oh, big enough shower for Ben. Floor's all big. Was it you? Yeah. I was running late. Or was it JD? No, I think it's not just washed water. I like these bases. Yeah, it's funny. It's coming out the wall. I think the one thing about when you come and look at other houses, so when we go into the display villages and also when if we go and look at houses like we're doing now, you always want to move into them because <laughs> there's always something really lovely, isn't there? Well, I just find ideas what to do. There's another part to this house. So we've so far we've seen the main living area, um, three bedrooms. So that was the master bedroom we just went into, um, and the family bathroom. We're going to show you downstairs. There's one more bedroom. We're not going to show you that because they're doing some work on it at the moment. But if you can just imagine a white room with a similar style. They've even got this um, brickwork on the stairs. I love it. It's really nicely mixed with the um, white walls. <laughs> there you go, Ben showcasing it. <laughs> so when we come downstairs, we've got this massive laundry. Obviously with all its built-in cupboard space. It probably shouldn't be my favourite part, but look at this garage. It is huge! It could fit so much in here. There's two cars and five motorbikes, isn't it? Five motorbikes? Yeah. But yeah, I would imagine this is a bit of a dream, isn't it, for people to have a garage like this? 
And it's super bright, so you could um, use it as a workspace as well. You've got a big wood here as well, so you could actually have really deep shelving in there for your tools and stuff. It's quite common um, to have spaces like that under the Queenslander houses. Yeah. So anyway, that is the house in Budroom that we've got to show you. We hope that you enjoyed that one. We think it's absolutely beautiful, don't we? Yeah, it's pretty good. I really like it. Yeah. It's definitely got a lot of potential if you wanted to buy a property and even make it even bigger. It's on a 820 square metre block, so that's quite big and there's room for a pool, there's, there's still plenty of garden space. So this is a definite, if you were looking on the coast in this, in this kind of budget of 850 plus, this is definitely one that you come and look at. And also the area of Budrim is really beautiful. Another option you've got when you buy a house here is that you can actually buy land and then you go to a display village, find a builder that you like and build a home with them on the land that you bought. Today we've come to look at the Juniper 27 by Brighton Homes. We're going to go and take a look around. Hello. <laughs> Our tour guide Ben is going to show us the way. <laughs> so this is the Brighton Home Builders. Um, I really like the quality of these guys. Um, I find it's a whole package that they do. Like the outside looks really nice and the inside's really, really nice. Mm. It looks like a really high finish to them as well. Yeah, a high end finish. Yeah, and I love the, that they use a lot of light, subtle colours. Yeah, I think it's really easy actually to get blown away with the styling in these homes. But this one, I think the layout's really good as well. Yeah. But as we walk in, we've got the kitchen in front of us and dining living room. Ben, show us the way. Let me show you. Let me show. <laughs> so, here's a beautiful kitchen. It's got really nice um, Smeg appliances here. So you've got the Hood from Smeg, induction top, and quite a nice oven actually, it's nice and wide. So they've got a nice little utility here. A lot of the time you will get a big oven, but as this is only a little single story, this um, is adequate for the size of the house, I think. So I love this little effect here, where they just use this breeze block, just to let some more light in. And it makes a nice little feature of that wall as well, I find. Yeah, so you've got this lovely little fun out here. I wouldn't do too many laps. <laughs> I think it's lovely to have a little pool. We love this um, weatherboard as well. It just looks so nice. Brighton Homes seem to really go all out on their display homes. This is really nice. And this is the media room. Quite a nice size for a small family. So you've got like the master, do you class this as the master wing? Yeah, I guess this is the master wing and garage. There's a garage here, but you can never get into. Yeah, no you one can wants never to get into garage, the garages. Really, do they? I even like the flooring. I like the um, penny tile. Yeah. It's got a nice skylight as well. I don't know if you noticed that. It's nice to get some natural light in. So it's got a nice little um, dressing room. Do you class this dressing room or just um, just a wardrobe? Just a walk-in wardrobe. I like the wallpaper in here as well. It's like having a massive bit of artwork on the wall. Okay, let's, let's head to the rest of the bedrooms. The kids have their own area, so parents separate, and then the kids have got their own little TV area and study area. So there's actually three bedrooms this side. So you've got this one. To be a bedroom in Australia, I believe you have to have wardrobes for them to be classed as a bedroom. I love these beds. I'll tell you one other thing I've noticed that I really, really love is these really tall doors. Uh, they're pretty much ceiling height. I, I'm, I found out recently I'm 5'11. It used to be 6'. <laughs> I can only just about. He keeps telling us that. <laughs> well, it used to be 6 2. But okay. <laughs> I can just touch the top of this door frame. That's how tall they are. So they're a good seven, seven and a half foot, I reckon. Uh, this is a set up for a little girl. 
I quite actually like a feature board which wraps onto two walls. So we will come to the next bedroom. And this seems like it's a bit more for a teenager. Um, but I really like it. And I feel sometimes a lot of people think my bedrooms are too small. But really, they are only for sleeping. Where you've got this area out here, the, girl, the, the girls, the kids have got an area to sort of chill out and relax. So you don't have to stay in your bedrooms. They can be a little bit more social with their siblings. This gets a real big thumbs up from us. We think it's a lovely idea to be able to buy a block of land. And it's a very common thing for people to do here. So you get a complete choice of what house you have on it subject to permissions, but you can pretty much pick what you want. This is our lovely friend Jodie from Agent 4573. And when I first moved to the coast, I knew Jodie because her face was on every billboard. She's like the celebrity real estate agent of the Sunshine Coast. So, the questions that you asked us over on Insta last week, we've actually got those to ask Jodie today because she's so knowledgeable about everything, <laughs> everything real so. estate on the coast. The first question that we've got from one of our viewers is, is it cheaper to build or buy a house in Queensland? It has been traditionally cheaper to build a house, but at the moment, uh, because of the bushfires and various other factors, building supplies have gone up hugely. So for example, a client of ours gave us a recent example that even though he had an agreed contract with the builder, the price had gone up 200,000 oh because it was a, over a million dollar build yeah. and it had gone up 200,000 because of the cost of material increase, price increase. I would say now building is more expensive. A lot of people used to say, oh, I can build it for cheaper. You could have in the past, but not anymore. So buying established is yeah. more economical now. It's good to know. And also something like the bushfires does make such a difference. Oh, huge. There's it? no timber. Yeah. And then there's a short supply of steel for steel frames now as well. Wow. Because of China and things like that. There's been a lot going on in the last few years. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of changes, yeah. <laughs> so the next question is, what are the best suburbs for a young family on the Sunshine Coast? Oh, look, well, I moved here with my kids 10 years ago and we went and checked out all the primary schools. We moved to Bridgen Springs based on the fact that that was a new primary school. So. My son went into grade one and the other one went into prep. It had only been going for 12 months and we bought land and built in Pridgen Springs based on that. But there are a lot of great schools. There's a great primary school in Shivalum. Butterham's got great schools that so many areas do. I think yeah. as long as you have transport and transport's easy on the Sunshine Coast, you know, there's barely a traffic light. There's, um, there's not really <laughs> many places that aren't lovely on the no. Sunshine Coast. Is there? I, think, it's all pretty, I can't think of any. Pretty beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And the schools, from what I hear, I mean, there's good and bad in every, but overwhelmingly good. Next question is, oh, that's a visa question. Right. <laughs> you don't ask me that one. No. <laughs> <laughs> Deposit prices, locations. So I guess, um, I guess really, what's the, the kind of expected deposit that you would put down? So the, the maximum that a real estate agency can accept is 10%, so you can't pay more than that. But we generally do between 20,000 and 5%. A lot of people just don't have the money to put up because it's tied up in another property or it's sitting somewhere else. If they do, it's 5%. If not, it can be factored down to 20%, um, to, sorry, $20,000, sometimes even 10. We do try and yeah. get at least 20,000. I guess it's something that you actually put forward in your offer, isn't exactly. it? Exactly, it all comes as part of a package. So there's your conditions, so building and pest, time frames, finance, um, deposit, those type of things. Yeah, I think that will be really interesting for people actually, because it's a different procedure in every state. Yes. So the procedure of putting, you put an offer in, mm. and then within a certain time, an agreed time frame, you have to get a building and pest um, inspection, don't you? Correct. And have your finances sorted. Yeah, so in Queensland, it is quite different to other states. So you make the offer, in writing, it's accepted by the seller, let's say, and typical conditions would be 14 days for finance and building and pest. So then you pay, it's the buyer's responsibility to pay for a building and pest inspector, it's about $500. Um, they come and check the building, check for termites, those type of things. And in that 14 days, you also have your finance finalized 
At the end of that 14 days, it's what we call unconditional, which means there are no more conditions that need to be met. Um, and at that stage, there's no going back, yeah. and then it proceeds to settlement. It's like, um, so for any English viewers, it's an exchange of contracts. So your exchange of contracts is basically happening earlier in the sale process, mm. which is incredible because it means that you you know when you're going to move. Exactly. From an early stage in the process. Yeah, so say from that day 14, you might have 30, 45, 60 days after that to settle. And yeah, you know for certain it's going to happen. You can book removal lists, cancel rental agreements, move out, those type of things. So it's, it's all very clear yeah. here. There's times and dates Yeah, it's that an things must happen. It, as someone who's bought here, it's an incredible process. Very it's simple. So, much, so mm. much better than when we bought before. Mm. Next question, how likely are you to get a pool? <laughs> Newer suburbs like Bridge and Springs, Brightwater, all the new estates seem to have pools. If you go into an older area, it's much lower percentage of chance that you're going to get a pool. Yeah. Down to 20 but, or 30 But then you can always put your own in it. Absolutely, anyway. yeah. Yeah. Because a lot of those are bigger blocks in the older areas, so there's room to put a pool. Next question. Is it everything from do you need credit, mortgage and process? Well, we have what in Australia, and I imagine it's all around Australia, it's called pre-approval. So really you shouldn't even be shopping for a property at the moment unless you have pre-approval. So you've gone to the bank, the mortgage broker, and they said, yep, everything you've got stacks up. Here's, we've done your tax return, everything's done and ready so that you make the offer and all the broker or the bank really has to do is push the button and say, yep, 14 days for this to happen. So there's a part two to that question. Can anyone outside of QLD or Australia in general buy a home there? Out of Queensland, yes, so anyone in Australia can. And out of the country, it depends on your residency status. Yeah, there's um, there's a thing called the FIRB. I yeah. can't remember what it stands for. Foreign but you Investment can go... Review Board. There you go. <laughs> Joe, see, I told you, she's, <laughs> she knows it all. Um, so if you are not a permanent resident of Australia, you have to get approval from the FIRB. Things do change also as well. Sometimes it has to be a new property. So they can't buy anything that's not a new build or has never been lived in. And now New Zealanders, they've got a 3% tax that they have to pay now to buy here. Yes. So in addition to their Australian stamp duty, they also have to pay 3%. Yeah. Unless they're here when they buy it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So the next question is, are they expensive in terms of comparing them to UK houses? I, I don't know if this is something we can answer because, so Jodie lived yeah. in the UK, yeah. obviously we did too. <laughs> But house prices would have changed since a lot we since were there. yeah I left in two thousand and two. So I, it's a long time ago. I found it comparable. We were in the southeast of England and I found it comparable to the house prices here. Yeah, okay. So I guess it depends where you're from in England because if you if you're in a different area of England then the prices are different as well. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm not yeah. educated enough in the England prices, you'd, English you'd, prices. You'd probably have to check online. You can go to realestate.com.au and check the house prices here and mm. compare them in that way. Mm. But when you think the, the blocks of land are probably a bit bigger here and yes. so yeah. it swings and roundabouts. Mm. Everything from the fir uh, very first steps for completely new buyers. If you're someone who's never bought um, in Australia before, what are the things you need to know? The very first thing is to get a mortgage broker or a bank and go through your finances and make sure that you have enough money um, for a deposit and know how much you can spend. The very first thing to do is get finance approval. Yes. The very first thing to do. And then you know how much you can spend, you know the time frames, the conditions, and then you can go shopping. That's really all you need to do. And then when you've got a real estate agent like Jodie, mm. who knows everything. <laughs> we'll talk you she, through the rest. She'll talk yeah. you through the rest. Mm. And you know, it's it's so simple, the process here. Yeah. We, we really enjoyed going through the process here. Yeah, and so in Queensland, the agent prepares and um, the contracts. And then once it's all signed by the buyers, you can send it to a solicitor or a conveyancer to have a look at prior to you signing. Most people choose not to do that. Um, there's also a five, unless you buy by auction, there's a five day cooling off period. So for five business days after the contract is dated, you can pull out at any time. Perfect. Thank you right. so much. You're welcome. <laughs> well, there's that model again. <laughs> Don't touch the walls. Huge. <laughs> what do you mean it's what? <laughs> 
in a nice marble top. Um, induction. Is it oh. marble or granite? I think it's granite. Is it granite? You don't let me know, I'm not a builder. <laughs> I'll do two takes on this. This is a lovely granite top. <laughs> do it again. This is a lovely marble top. <laughs> Maz will put in the edit which one we've worked it out to be. I think maybe granite. <laughs> I'm trying to get this I'm going either way. To you, to me. Beautiful. It really has a nice flow. For someone like me though, I'd like a bigger door. <laughs> You don't want to bash into it, do you? Really? Uh, houses of. Which them bedrooms though? Oh, I haven't. Oh, we have on this wall frame. On this wall frame. <laughs> okay, let's let's head to the rest of the bedrooms. <laughs> so, I nearly forgot about them. So they set this up for a nice little girl. For a nice little girl. Nice little girl. Not, not a horrible, horrible little girl. No, a horrible little girl. You have bars and everything in the windows, wouldn't you? So they can't get out. <laughs> well, they've got those. <laughs> The shutters. Yeah. <laughs> but not miles. But Ben reckons this is for a nice girl. Nice girl. <laughs> not a horrible yeah, girl. We've not caged them in. So we can't get out. Are we in England? Oh. No! We're on Maybe. the sunny coast! <laughs> this might make it to the end. So every video that we do, yeah. at the end of them, we do a kind of, um, what's it called? Yeah, like a bloopers or... <laughs> so this isn't going on the front page. <laughs> well... <I> mean... <laughs> Damn. I'll have a quick go of it. <laughs> Benny didn't approve. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to get the house in the back. Oh, she's walked off. <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome back to the Bam Fam Land. Today, let me intros. Go ahead, Ben. Thank you. Let me get in focus on the main one. So for them days of any English people that miss the UK, we definitely do have English <laughs> weather sometimes, look. Here it's we are. It's raining, we're trying to keep our umbrella out of shot. What well, Maz is. We need to get out of the middle of the road, there's a car coming. Ah, oh, don't worry about it, they go around us. <laughs> She'll be right. I'll edit, edit. <laughs> Hi. 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 